Hi, Dr. Richard Bartlett here and, and in my, from my uh, alleged quarantine state. Uh, my son and I, we're, we're hermits. We don't really notice the difference when I'm home. Uh, I've got my guitars, I've got my dog, and uh, we don't really notice anything different at all other than we're not eating out in restaurants. So we're pretty happy with that. I hope it's going well for all of you. I know some of you that uh, have to go into offices are more affected, but it's a great time to go within. You know, anything that you haven't done, you think you can't do, you think maybe, well, maybe now's the time. Uh, I'll give you an example. I've got this piece of music by uh, Fish, Trey Anastasio, and it's very, very difficult. And I tried it about 30 years ago or something like that, and I just couldn't do it. And I tried it again maybe 15 years ago, couldn't do it. And I hunkered down and I'm doing it. Uh, maybe I'll write another book, who knows. Uh, but this is a beautiful time, if you if you see it this way, to go within your heart, to ask yourself what you really want, uh, what's really important in life, to let go of the things that maybe are on the periphery, things you thought were important. And as you spend more time alone, and spending time alone is a great way to, to really discern what you want because we're all telepathic we're all psychic so we pick up information from the field and if we're resonating for instance with fear which is a big media thing this media virus that's going on uh then that's what we pick up but if you move into your heart as i've talked about for years you can focus on my medallion here or on the third eye of the cat uh if you move into your heart none of those voices persist it's actually completely silent in there your heart's not human i've said this for years it is a divine aperture and opening into cosmic wonder beauty majesty and yet it's not a human majesty or beauty or wonder it's it's beyond that and so it's not based upon human concerns and the ups and downs and vicissitudes of life um wherever there's a happy time, there's always going to be something that counterbalances that. But if you go to the Leia Center, where there is no up, there is no down, there's no front or back, it's just complete and total peace. Perhaps this is a time to expand awareness of that. And then if you don't dwell on anything in the past, if you find yourself going to the past, just say, let go. If you don't dwell on anything in the past, then there's nothing to remonstrate yourself about. And if you don't look into the future, because you can't predict it, believe me, I know, there's nothing to be afraid of. And there never was anyway, because what you really are is this, and everything else is just a grand illusion. I'll see you next week.